The Crescent Vorgorda team time trial, the first of two women's world tour races hosted by the Swedish town in the space of a few days. The teams would take the plaudits as a whole instead of the team's first finisher, so the race offered a rare chance for collective celebrations come podium time. It's really a nice course for a TTT and yeah, it's always a challenge because every year like it's a different team. So it's like to give our best and see what happens. Tonight is going to be nice, but like with the wind and there's a lot of corners, it's pretty technical. So he has everything. Yeah, I always love to, to race here in Sweden um, and especially because of the team time trial. Uh, I like to do team time trials and um, this is one of the first times that I do it with uh, Team Sunweb. I have did it only once this year with them. Uh, that was also going quite okay, but we, we trained quite a lot on it, so I'm, uh, I'm really excited to see, uh, to see how we go today. It's the only really long TTT yeah. before World Championships, so um, yeah, you never know exactly um, where you're, you're standing like um, uh, compared to the competition, so it's uh, quite challenging but also really um, interesting to see always in this race. And uh, yeah, we practiced a lot the last week, uh, yeah, last two weeks actually, and so we're coming here with pretty good feelings about the TTT. 21 teams of six riders took to the start ramp in Forgorda. Of the early starters, Team Velo Concept had the best time, at 55 minutes and one second. However, it didn't take Cervelo Bigler long before they began to scrape time off that target. The 2016 World Championship TTT bronze medalists posting the best time at the first split. Canyon Sram were next on the ramp boasting a team containing five of the six silver medalists from last year's World Championship TTT. They set off on the 42.5 kilometre course, but wouldn't better Cervelo Bigler at the first time check, nine seconds off the pace. Cervelo Bigler also smashed the second split at 32.9 kilometres through, beating Velo Concept's effort by over one and a half minutes. The five remaining riders continued to pedal a smooth rhythm on the rolling terrain, Nicole Hanselman having dropped back. The team came second at the race last year, albeit some 37 seconds back. Bolstered this time by the UCI Women's World Tour Youth Jersey leader Cecily Uttrup Ludwig, they pushed on, looking to go one better. Defending champions Bowles Dolmans were the last ones out. The team has already won the only other Women's World Tour team time trial event on the calendar so far, stage one of the Giro Rosa. And four of those victorious riders raced here again. Out on the road, Canyon Sram continued to lose time to Cervelo Bigler. Alexis Ryan had fallen back from the team, making them a five. At the second time check, they were 22 seconds down on the leading marker. But with a team including Trixie Warak, who has four Gold World Champion TTT medals, and Lisa Brenoa, who has three, their time proved to be untouchable for most of the other teams. Wiggle High Five, WM3 Pro Cycling and Team Sunweb failing to get close, with only 10 kilometres left to run. Bowles Dolmans, meanwhile, blasted along the course. They took the lead at both the first and second splits although only narrowly. Lucinda Brand, who had dropped back from her Team Sunweb teammates, soon found herself being overtaken by Bowles Dolmans as well. Although Bowles themselves were already down to four, the minimum number of riders needed to qualify a time. At the finish back in Vorgorda, Cervelo Bigler completed their run in 52 minutes, 51.8 seconds, the quickest time of the day so far. Canyon Sram sprinted for the line side by side, but couldn't manage to improve on it, stopping the clock at 53 minutes 30. Even as Bowles Dolmans approached the final corner, victory was still in the balance between Cervelo Bigler and them. Chantal Bluck surged one final time along the finishing straight. Her teammates followed in her wake, and with that, they clocked a winning time of 52 minutes 39 seconds. A second win here in a row, and a confidence boost before the Crescent Vorgorda road race two days later. Cervelo Bigler came second, Canyon Sram came third. 
We were really happy. We came here to win. Um, yeah, it's very uh, difficult, of course, um, but we are confident and everything went well, so we are really happy. There was a lot of wind. Um, to come out it was uh, tailwind, so yeah, everyone can go fast, we knew that. Um, but we managed to have the fastest time and on the way back, um, yeah, we just keep the speed, well, a bit less because it was headwind. Uh, and that was good, then uh, then we make the difference. Coming into today, we just decided we're giving it our absolute best and we didn't really know exactly what to expect. Um, you know, we are a slightly smaller team in stature, even as risers, and, and the wind was quite strong today. But yeah, once again, we just rode with absolute heart and um, finished um, in second place and we couldn't be happier. I mean, the time gap to Bulls was not very big, so we're ecstatic and just happy to be on the podium again as a team. It was a tailwind out, really fast out, so yeah, we, I think we got a little bit overexcited and then just coming back it was a, quite a slog and then there's just some climbs on the course that really get you. And as part of the winning team, Anna van der Breggen also extends her Women's World Tour lead. The rest of the race top 10 looks like this. Velo Concept's long-standing time saw them take sixth place in the end. Team Sunweb were held off the podium, while Wiggle High 5 finished in 5th, over 2 minutes down on Bowles Dolmans. In the UCI Women's World Tour rankings, van der Breggen's lead at the top increases, while Lotta Lepisto leapfrogs Elena Cicchini into 9th. And the standings stay as before in the Women's World Tour youth rankings, with Ludwig keeping a commanding lead.